Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome back. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the fabric sculptures, life-size dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself, and as I was sewing these dolls, they would not stop talking to me, and this inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series, so I have book one, two, and three, and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck, where I do pick a card readings and oracle readings here on my channel if you are interested in making a doll i have a plethora of doll making tutorials all you need to do is click the button here if you enjoy discussing chakras and gemstones and crystals feng shui if you love ancient wisdom metaphysical knowledge welcome home darling this is the channel where we embrace the weird and the wonderful Thank you so much for watching. Oh my God, I am so pumped. I'm so excited. I am going to do a review of the Buddha Power bracelet. Yes, I saw the ads and I, you know, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, okay? I am that girl. I believe in this type of stuff. Um, so I ordered a bracelet that this woman was... Um, saying that her mom bought her a bracelet and after she purchased the bracelet everything in her life turned out right and then when she lost the bracelet everything in her life went wrong okay and you know so this was an ad for this bracelet I'm just thinking this is a really good ad I watched the entire thing and I purchased one for myself and my daughter so here is the Buddha power bracelet that is supposed to attract let me see if I can get a good view here um, I think I have some shots. So here we go. Supposed to attract like wealth and good fortune and good things are supposed to happen to you. And I thought, you know what? It's not. It's only. I think it was like nineteen ninety nine. It's not that expensive. I'm a brave girl. Let's give it. Let's give it a try. You know, I I love this kind of stuff. So it took about about four weeks for it to come but that's a whole nother story so basically I received my bracelet in this beautiful black box like this like so and you open the box and here is my beautiful bracelet and I bought one for myself and my daughter it was very inexpensive I thought the ad was pretty convincing to me I don't know if I believed it or not but I just thought wow this is this is interesting you know so here's the bracelet and let me tell you I'm gonna read to you what the card said I thought this was so cute it says Reiki and mantra infused while your pieces were being made the makers recited powerful mantras as they handcrafted your pieces after that holy monks came in and added powerful blessings to enhance and multiply the beneficial effects of your pieces well, I didn't say y'all of your pieces. Your pieces are infused with powerful energy, with love, team Buddha power. So this is the little card that came with the bracelet. I don't know if you can make it out here, but I read it to you. So you know, I really believe that every everything is alive, everything has energy, and I do believe that you can have you can receive something, purchase something that is good luck. When somebody makes something and they make it with love, have you ever eaten something and when you taste it, your toes curl and you just feel like you're in heaven? But the person who made it, like you can just tell that they put so much love into it that you can taste love you can feel love you can have you ever gone somewhere and the service was so amazing and it just made you feel you just like oh my god this is so it feels so good i don't think it was just because you you know um maybe you went to to get a, a pedicure you know you can get pedicures every day but the energy of the person who's actually doing the job um, I have a friend who had like uh, a necklace piece that was prayed over by nuns and every time they wear that piece they win their cases like every time so yes 
I truly believe that people can make things and you can receive things that are inherently good luck. I, I truly do. I used to make dolls. Uh, I call them magic manifesting dolls. Those dolls have a lot of energy. But I always needed the person's birth date and their name. And I would perform a real prayer. You know, um, when I say real, it's a lot of spiritual work to infuse somebody else's energy into the object because I wanted it to be specifically for them. So I believe that these bracelets can really have, you know, give you good luck. But I think that in order for you to amplify whatever benefits may be possible, you should cleanse it to cleanse the properties that do not belong to you, that would not resonate with you, that would not be a benefit for you, and then add your own energy and talk to it and love it. And um, so this way you will amplify what has been done. I mean, you, you know, you don't really always know. And if something is always handled by more than one person, there's a male person that goes through, it sits in a truck. So... I am going to show you guys how I am going to amplify the powers of my Buddha Power bracelet that I received because I think it's important for it to have my own signature. So the first thing I'm going to do is use some sage here that I have here. Where's my? And I'm going to sage it with the intention to remove any energy that will not resonate with my being that is not for me that is going to help me align with my soul's plan for wealth, sublime, sublime plan for wealth and prosperity. I ask, first of all, I thank everybody for making this bracelet. And I'm asking to remove any and all properties that are not of divine love, that is not for my highest and best good. So I'm just gonna do a general cleaning with my sage. Okay, so, and I also have this sage, it's a clearing spade, it's white sage, let's see, can I get a shot over here, um, yeah, there we go, so, I'm going to use this as well, I think it's very important to, I'm just going to spray a little bit, oh, that was good, that was a good spray, so I'm just spraying it just a little bit here, I am now all of the energies and properties that are positive and are in alignment for my own well-being, for my own prosperity, for my own health and well-being remain. Any energies or entities that is not of divine love, of the highest good of God, please leave in peace. You are now cleansed of all negative energy. So, oh, it smells so good. So now I've cleaned it. So now what I'm going to do to amplify the powers of my Buddha power bracelet, shall I have some good oils here. Uh, Under the root is my favorite place to buy oils. So I have one oil that's called, let's get it back in focus here, Chuck. It is called um, King Midas. Let's see, can you see that? It's still not in focus yet. I don't know what's going on with my with my camera tonight but it's called King Midas it's by Art of the Root so I'm going to take a little bit of that oil I am going to bring my feet down a little bit I'm going to use some Life of Luxury oil let's give you a little um there we go see this is Life of Luxury oil by Art of the Root I am going to use some money drawing oil. Let me get you in focus here. This is my money drawing oil by Art of the Road. This is a these oils smell amazing. They are oh my god. They are amazing. I love them. I've been I have been using them for years. I'm gonna also use my Ganesh oil. And let's get you in focus here, babe. Here we go. This is my Ganesh oil. And I am going to use Wealthy Way. <laughs> yes, I have a lot of good oils, y'all. And here we go. I usually like to take my oils 
and um, I put little drops in my Vaseline. <clears throat> yes, the Vaseline that I use every morning and in my lotion. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of each one of the oils, which I don't really need to show you, but I'm just gonna, for sake of, for our purposes, I'm just gonna shake this up. <clears throat> I have a little bit on my finger here. I'm gonna put some oil on the beads and bring it to me. Thank you God for the wealth and prosperity <clears throat> that flows into my life and all of the love, all the riches. And I'm very appreciative for all the good in my life. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to do that with each one of the oils. Okay, so I placed the oil, each one of the oils on the beads of my bracelet. And as I was placing the oil on my beads, on my Buddha power, on my Buddha power bracelet, I envisioned wealth and prosperity. <clears throat> whatever that means to you however you know whatever it is you want whether it's book sales or a job whatever I rubbed it I blessed it I pray and now I'm putting it on my wrist okay and let me just go ahead and put this on right now and now I have amplified whatever powers that the Buddha the monks have prayed over it I have given it my energy my wishes and um yeah that's so, so fun anyway um like i said i just saw the ad on youtube actually and i thought it was pretty interesting but i know that whenever you purchase something always try to put your own personal touch on it try to clean it because it you know it has its own properties you want to amplify the properties that you are that is intended so like even like with a gemstone and then you want to get rid of anything that may not be good for you anyway i really hope this video helps someone this um just to tell you just off this bracelet bracelet is gorgeous it has beautiful writing on it um, it's just a beautiful it's just a beautiful bracelet i just received this bracelet in the mail two days ago so i don't know if it's going to do anything magnificent but I do believe that you can draw things into your life that have positive vibrations. I just really want to show you guys how I was going to amplify, how I have amplified the powers of the bracelet to enhance my life. And I hope this video can help someone else do the same. If you are thinking about purchasing the video, I mean, I'm sorry, purchasing the bracelet, I always tell you this from a spiritual perspective. I believe that if something is meant for you, nothing and no one would keep it away from you. And if something is not meant for you, nothing and no one can give it to you. I believe that your life is divinely blessed and I feel that your energy, nothing, I, don't, I personally don't think something is going to come and then tomorrow you're going to be president. Maybe you will. You know, this is America. I don't know. I just feel that you can focus on you know being grateful for what you do have and the you know as opposed to thinking well i need to get this job as you should be thinking like what is a divine job for me where do i belong where do i fit what what gifts do i have what can i do now to change my life and then just have everything in your life to amplify that intention so anyway, I think this is a very, very beautiful bracelet. I think it's worth purchasing. I think the price is fair. And I think if you if you decide to purchase it, you know, it doesn't hurt to amplify it and give it your own personal energy. Thank you so much for watching.